Alright guys, welcome to a FIFA 15 trading tip video. Today I'm going to be covering the investment method for Barclays Premier League Silvers. Now what you're going to want to do with the search parameters is put in silver, centre back, which we will be changing later on in the video, and Barclays Premier League. Now you're literally going to want to search through and basically this method involves buying players and selling them on for much more when the game is released. So let's have a look at some centre backs here. Kurt Zuma. Very popular centre-back last year. He looks absolutely incredible again this year. Non-rare silver, 74 pace, 74 defending, 79 physical. At the moment, he's got a 10,000 bid on him, but I'm sure he'll be going for a lot less than that. Now, you can see here, 2.5k. That'll be going for around 5k when the real game's out. Now, not many people know that the web app's out. I say not many, but not as many as you'd like to think. Now, what that basically means is prices are much cheaper on the web app than when the game is released. So, Kurt Zuma, he'll probably be going for twice the price when it's released, and that's as soon as it's released. So, you're going to want to buy all these players now, and then sell them probably maybe a week after release. That's probably when the prices will be really high. Yoshida, he looks decent, 500 coins. You'll probably make money on that. But don't go around buying players now if you don't know their prices. Use websites like Footbin to check their cheapest buy now on the market to make sure you're not getting ripped off, because... I've done it in the past, and this video is teaching you guys how to make coins, not lose them. Chester, he looks decent. I think he's only like 5 foot 10 now, which is a bit of a concern. But what you're going to want to do for centre backs is look out for players with good pace, good defending, good physical. Now, that is the standout stats for a centre back. Now, we're going to go back for someone like a striker. So, if we take a look at the strikers, what you're going to want to look for is pace, shooting, and dribbling. Samaras, newly transferred player, 79 pace, 74 physical, 72 dribbling. He looks decent. 750 coins, he'll probably be twice that by the time the game's out. Abel Hernandez, this guy's expensive already, 92 pace. Again, this guy will be an absolute ton when the game drops. So if you've got the money to, which as you can see I don't because I've only just launched the web app, I definitely recommend signing him and keeping him in your club until the game is released. Sonogo. Not particularly pacey, he's got some pace about him. 68 physical, but he's 6 foot 3. And if headers are as good as they were last year, this guy will be a monster. He looks pretty decent, to be honest, and he'll probably be going for like 5k. I know a mate who picked one up for 800 coins yesterday, and now look at his price. That kind of sums up how much the prices are going up already. Wickham, 2.5k at the moment. He's 6 foot 2, I think. So, again, another tall player with decent pace and decent shooting. Decent physical and decent dribbling as well. So, he'll be a very well rounded striker. Who else have we got here? Valencia, another pacey striker in the Premier League. 76 dribbling, 71 shooting, 70 physical to go along with that. Absolutely incredible card. He'll probably be going for like 50k next year. Another one, Danny Ings, 89 pace. And he's only going for 5k. That's probably not even his most expensive card as well. So this guy will be pretty good to sign, especially when it comes to making profit. Alright guys, so that basically is the video. It is so simple to make coins at the start of Ultimate Team. People have literally made hundreds of thousands already, and we're literally a day into it. Well, not even 24 hours yet. So make sure you do leave a like down below if you did enjoy the video and it helped you out. Leave a comment down below of any trading tips you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Subscribe for more FIFA 15 content. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Cheers.